So what I mean is that here in the grain, so grain R and Tara, each Tara coin is each of these poker chips, each stack, each one of these is called Tara coin. When you have a stack of a poker chip, you call it grain R. Stroma, they are the uh, space or the fluid filled inside the chloroplast. And then um, what happened is that in each file, file coin, in each poker chip, in each file, you have the uh, pigment that will um, trap the sunlight, the solar energy. So that you can see that you, why do we have a stack of it? Because when sunlight go through it, it will go through each file coin. So that you can stimulate all the pigment in each stack so that you will have a maximum absorption of the sunlight to do photosynthesis. Mitochondria. You can find mitochondria in all living cells. In all living cells. I emphasize here, including plants and algae. In all living cells. Because if the cell is alive, then you have a mitochondria to do cellular respiration. This is the site of cellular respiration. Remember, remember we talked about in the first lecture, seven characteristics of living organism. All living organisms, they do cellular respiration. If there's no cellular respiration, that means that living organism is dead. Again, it is bound by double membrane, just like coral plus. Um, it has matrix. Okay, this matrix is not like the movie matrix. It is the inner fluid field space. Now you have four terms to know. Cytoplasm, fill out the cell. Nucleoplasm, fill out the nucleus. Um, stroma, fill up the uh, chloroplast. Matrix, fill up the mitochondria. You have this Christi. Uh, this is plural, singular, it's crystal. It is the invagination of the inner membrane of the mitochondria. We'll see a picture, then we will give you a better idea of what it looks like. The invagination increases surface area, which is important for uh, cellular respiration. Again, just like chloroplast, it has DNA. Yes, it's own DNA. Therefore, there's a symbiotic uh, theory, hypothesis, to explain mitochondria and chloroplast. Scientists believe that chloroplast and mitochondria, they are foreign unicellular organisms. So what happened in many years ago is that they get absorbed into, uh, from mitochondria into, uh, into the body of an organism for chloroplast. They absorb into plant only. And then after they absorb into the living organism, we living organism provide energy and and nutrient and protection to those uh, unicellular uh, organisms. In turn, they, for example, mitochondria, they will produce energy for us. For chloroplast, they produce uh, sugar for the plant. So it is a symbiotic relationship, an uh, example of mutualism. We'll talk about this uh, later. So it looks like this. The, uh, the electron microscope looks like this. In here, you can see that the Christie is the invagination of the inner membrane. It is a double membrane structure, mitochondria, outer membrane, and inner membrane. Inner membrane have, has invagination, and it has matrix inside. Now, cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton, we have three types, actin, intermediate filament, and microtubule. So it is to maintain the shell shape, just like our bone structure. Bone is to maintain our body shape and the movement as well. It also assists movement, just like our bone skeleton. It also moves the cell and all the males. Um, they are dynamic, uh, just like our bone. Our bone is dynamic. Um, the cytoskeleton is so dynamic. It actually lengthen, assemble, and then shorten, disassemble as needed. So the length can be increased or decreased. Actin filament. They are the smallest or the thinnest one. The smallest one or the thinnest one. Um, 
they they make something called microvilli. They make microvilli in the intestine. They also form the pseudopod. Pseudo means fake, pod means food or feet. So amoeba, we know that amoeba, they can move around, they can extend their cell into like a fake feet because pseudopod. This is how amoeba move. So actin is the smallest one, the thinnest one. Uh, you can see actin from our muscle, that's why we call actin filament, aka thin filament. Thin filament, um, you can find in the actin. Intermediate. Intermediate, um, as the name is just the size is between actin and microtubule. That means it is larger than actin but smaller than microtubule. Um, it supports the nuclear envelope. It forms cell junction. We will talk about cell junction, which is important. And it also strengthens your hair. Microtubule. They use a globular tubuli. Globular tubuli. Then globular meaning they are ball shaped, spherical shaped. Tubuli meaning a protein. You have alpha and beta uh, spherical shaped protein. They are controlled by microtubule organizing center, MPOC. Um, you can find microtubule in the central zone. When we talk about cell division, mitosis and meiosis, uh, we'll learn more about central zone and the microtubule. Microtubule, they are the one that uh, they are the one that make up the spindle that attach to chromosome during cell division. Maintain cell shape. The kinasing and dynein, you uh, move the organ. See, I told you that spindle, they form spindle during the cell division. This is the summary. Centrial, centrial again. Central and central zone. What's the relationship between central and central zone? So you see that these two, these two are the central. They are, um, you can call it perpendicularly arranged, but you can call it orthogonally arranged. Um, and then this is called central. They, they are, these are two central. And then what happened in the, the what is central zone? Central zone is like this. You have a gelatinous protein. Protein. That, that, that these two centrioles are bathing in this protein gel. And then when this, then, then we call the entire thing, the protein gel and two central, we call them the central zone. So the entire, the entire, the entire assembly is the central zone. So these are the central. So that's the diff relationship between them. And then it talks about um, nine plus zero pattern. Okay, that or triplet, triplet um, microtube. Those is okay. You don't need to know that. Cilia, black jaw, oh. So they are hair-like projection in eukaryo. Cilia, they are shorter than black gel. So remember, black gel, they are the thing about sperm and bacteria, they have a black gel. Cilia, where can you find cilia? You can find cilia in your trachea, in your windpipe. So um, the cilia in your windpipe, they are for trapping the dust, and then for beating, so that they can move the, your mucus out of your throat, so that you can cough them out. 
Uh, example in bio three is that paramecia. Paramecia can make a swim in, in water because the movement or the beating of the cilia. And then uh, I told you that the windpipe trap, they use cilia to move the uh, dust trap with the mirror so that we can carve it out. 